Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I'm Anish and today I will share with you what should you do in the last five months of your gate preparation, right? So first of all, I will not say any magic tricks over here that if you have just started your preparation and you can get a rank under 100, like few people can do. I have uh, I have known few juniors who are able to do this, but they had obviously previous knowledge of their subjects previously. If you are absolutely starting from zero, it will be very difficult for you to get an rank under hundred. But if you ha are preparing right since the past two three months or the past four months, and if you want to know whether you are in the right track or not, what should you do in the last five months so that you don't mess up your preparation and you get a rank what you deserve? You don't get the rank right. You get a rank worse than that. So I will uh, obviously say here what you should follow in the last five months. So first of all, uh, if you are just starting from scratch, right, or if you have straight from uh, one, two months and you, you will not be able to complete the whole syllabus. That's the first point. If you have just started now or uh, just one month before. So what should you, what topic should you follow for ECWIN? Himangshu has made a video. I will put the link in the uh, comments below or in the description. You can go and watch that video. What topics you should study. Okay. Uh, you can watch that video. That is like from zero to hero. You can completely get a rank, at least get a rank under thousand, which will be, uh, which will at least get you a seat in IITs or IISC. Okay. But before watching that video, you should complete this video. video. Okay, so what should be your do's and don'ts? What should be your do's and don'ts? So first of all, you don't have enough time now. So you can't watch live lectures now. Why? Because if you watch live lectures, right, you know, everyone knows that if you are starting a live lecture, which is let's say a common subject or a core subject, at least it takes two months for it to get completed. And you don't have that much amount of time now. You have only five months left. So you have to focus on quickly finishing the lectures and obviously uh, practicing more questions. That is more important, right? So you don't have enough time. Okay, uh, so first of all, you have to watch recorded lectures, go with the recorded lectures, don't go with the live lectures because live lectures take too much amount of time and you don't have that much amount of time now. Okay, this is the first do that you should do and don't is don't watch live lectures. Then you can use Pomodoro technique for studying efficiently. So what is Pomodoro technique? Just go look, look in Google, look in YouTube. You can go that uh, if you want, if you guys want to make a video on Pomodoro technique, I, I can make a video. Uh, so I can make a video. Just comment down below, make a video on Pomodoro technique. Okay, use this for studying. Then practice the assignment question, practice the gate POA question. Now, right, you should focus more on practicing rather than obviously uh, watching the lectures. So watching the lectures is important, but you have to balance it out. Now, previously, right, just before, like if you have eight months, then you focus more on completing the uh, completion, syllabus completion than practicing. But now you have to focus equally both on completion of the syllabus and practicing questions. So how where you can practice what the educator is teaching. You can practice those questions without seeing the solutions and obviously the gate POA question. But condition is you know, must not see the solutions. What you can do is, you tried a great question, right? And you weren't able to solve. You mark it out, okay? And then try it again in the next day. Sometimes what happens is our mind is, isn't in the right place and we were not able to solve it. But uh, like it happens with me, next day I was able to solve it very simply. So something, something clicks, right? So obviously just one concept is not clicking. That's why you weren't able to solve that question. So in the next day, it may happen, but uh, it clicked. If it didn't click, obviously you mark it out. And the next time, right? When you are revising the subject, you must solve that question. So marking questions, right? Is very, very important. Like what I used to do, I used to categorize questions. One star question, two star question, three star question. Three star means it's very difficult. Get POIQ and I must, like whenever I am revising network theory, let's say, if I'm revising network theory, I must try to solve that question after one or one and a half months. You just, you don't solve the question, just you solve the uh, that question uh, today and you are solving it again the next day. So you, you already memorize the method, not like that. You solve the question after one month or 1.5 months. Then obviously you don't remember exactly what happened, but you remember the concept, right? So you will uh, like use the concepts to solve the question, okay? So uh, categorize the question that is uh, another thing then obviously right now what you can do you can start your subject wise test of your completed subjects so whatever you're completed right you can start with that let's say let everyone completes network control by now and maths so you can start with network theory you can uh, like attempt the subject wise test you don't need to like um, totally go through the whole notes and then just sit for the examination no right so what is the thing is that in the gate examination like it's no it's not the case that you will obviously go through the whole 12 subject notes and then directly go into the examination hall right everything needs to be in your mind so it's okay don't stress that okay i will go through i will revise everything then only i will sit for the examination no right you just go with your open mind and then sit in the examination see which topics you are able to re recall which you weren't able to recall and then 
revise accordingly so you write down the topics which needs more revision you do focus on analyze so you analyze your mistakes right don't look at the marks don't look at the marks for now you can look at the marks during december or january don't look at the marks marks will be very bad during my time also when i was attending attending the test series during initial days subject wise test series i was like pretty bad it was pretty bad trust me okay so don't look at the marks but analyze your mistakes and you note down your silly mistakes in a small diary so that you don't repeat it and you see that diary every time like every day uh, every night before you go to sleep right you see the diary okay and note down the formula that you tend to forget all also like if you don't want to remember the formula right you can make a mind map what do you mean by mind map how did that formula came okay how did i derive the formula because like in power electronics there are there are so many formulas but what i uh, what i like uh, give suggestions to my students is what you can do is that you can make a mind map so how did the uh, average output voltage formula came for a single phase full wave rectifier how did the how did i derive it how did, did the average voltage formula came for a semi converter of a single phase full wave rectifier so all those things right make a mind map from this uh, angle to this angle the uh, output voltage will be this and that's why i'm integrating and what will be the period i'm dividing and that right so uh, nowadays the Uh, like derivation part is also important because sometimes the right, gate is actually uh, like starting to give pretty difficult questions and there is isn't this any set formula for that you need to derive the results in the examination hall itself the previous uh, year one question came from the solar cell for the easy part and there wasn't any formula everyone had to derive all the educators got it wrong right so nowadays you have to understand make a mind map how did the derivation came that also you have to understand right and obviously keep your health in check They're like many students they don't uh, like understand how important this is so if your health is worse right so you won't be able to perform to your best you won't be able to perform 100% of your level so keep your health in check don't eat food of outside just eat uh, like homemade food or if you are in pg or mess don't like eat food which suits you don't eat food which doesn't suit you okay and like try to fully focus now okay you have to avoid distractions and fully focus uh, focus on your gate studies that is the most important so these road map you should follow and these are the do's and don'ts now what should be your timeline so ideal timeline i bit of timeline i mentioned that you should start your subject wise series now when should you finish all your subjects like obviously you won't be if you are just starting starting from today you won't be able to complete all the subjects but just like all the subjects that himanshu has mentioned you try to finish them all by mid december like after mid december right you should write down that i won't study any new topics i won't study any new top uh, com- uh, concepts right what i will do i'll just practice practice and practice so mid december until the last date of mid december you will uh, like prepare the co- uh, topics after that only practice you will start your full end mock test after mid december and you can finish your subject wise test right you can finish your subject wise test by december end okay so this should be your basic timeline of test series and how to write and obviously how to write test series how to attempt test series all those things also there are videos i will explain those but the basic thing is you should attempt your test series just like you are actually attempting the gate exam you don't you don't attempt it just casually right you right you just uh, go down in a like a good environment good environment then you write the exam without any distractions you don't pause the examination you totally complete the one hour examination then you complete and like okay else it won't totally replicate your actual gate examination level right and if you are not able to replicate then in the examination you may mess up so that it is very important to replicate your actual gate exam uh, environment no what like after all this right what are few practice resources if you have already completed you can follow like in i will put the links in our prefusion channel we have one conceptual question series you can follow all the videos there you can follow test your knowledge there also we are putting out many new concepts okay so these two playlists you should follow for practice resources also there are abundant practice resources resources your teacher educator is already uh, uh, giving you some assignment question or questions which he is solving so that is one practice resource number one second is gate by quiz third is this this much is enough trust me okay and obviously your test series right test series is the most important practice resource so uh, you don't need to buy all the test series just uh, two should be enough right two test series should be enough that's it okay next you can, you can buy our perfusion test series you must buy that uh, like at, at least subject wise you can try okay we have launched our subject wise test series you can see the level of questions and you can understand next is guidance resources so like if you need more guidance right i won't be able to address all the issues here so if you want to know how to prepare a subject like so you can watch this video all the uh, like genuine guidance uh, videos right are present in our playlist a genuine guidance okay go there and you can watch all the videos which you are having a bit of d- doubt that how to complete a subject how to improve your test series marks all those things have been already all those videos have been already made okay all those videos have been already recorded here and we have put this you can go and follow that playlist next is like if you want to prepare with us right if you want to prepare with perfusion like you have just started or you have just finished one two subjects you can prepare with us we have recently launched a course course you can visit perfusion.in i will put the link i uh, will put the link of the course to the comments below you can visit okay there we are trying to gi- get to you 
like get a set of iit or isa within just five months but obviously you have to follow our guidance we will give one is to one personal mentorship guidance obviously all the lecture contents will be provided to you test series class notes doubt solving group all these things will be provided and obviously enrollment will close before 3rd september because that is the time when actually 150 days are up uh, for gate examination so we don't want to take any students just for the sake of it and we don't want like uh, okay if 100 days are left then also we can join no it's very difficult to get a rank uh, within 100, day, 100 days if you have you first starting from starting from scratch but we, within 150 days you can still get a rank so if you want our personal mentorship and guidance you can obviously join the course all the uh, details have been present in the website and yeah i will see you then so that is basically from my end all the best and focus uh for the past uh, like few uh five next few days right so this can really help you in the career in the upcoming days thank you for watching and i will see you again